This is Don DiBartolo, a senior commodities broker and market strategist with Daniels Trading in Chicago. I'm also the trader behind the Trade Spotlight advisory service. Trade Spotlight's broken into three segments Trade Spotlight futures, commodity options, and futures spreads. This is Beyond the Spotlight, a video that will spotlight two or three markets that may become trading opportunities for this week. This week begins with Monday, December 7th, 2020. Please pause the video and read the disclosures to understand the risks involved with futures and commodity options trading. Okay, first chart I want to take a look at is the March 2021 British pound. And I took a snapshot of the chart this morning because I wanted to show Sunday night and Monday morning's trading activity. There has been a sell-off in the British pound. It fell against the US dollar. Uh, there's fears that negotiations aren't going well between Britain and the U EU on uh, Brexit talks. Uh, but I do like this market to the downside. That storyline, I think, is only going to put pressure to the downside on the sterling. So looking for an opportunity to uh, go short. I had a trend line drawn off here uh, before Monday's trading activity. I drew a second trend line here that only has two touches, though. Um, that may be where I'd like to sell on a break of that trend line uh, as long as the other indicators line up. If you're looking at the MACD indicator, this is a trend indicator. It's getting ready to, to flip to the downside. And you can see my MACD indicator is already showing some downside momentum building. We also have a uh, potentially double top formation in place, though it's only about you know three months of time in between you like to see that spaced out a little bit more um, for a stronger confirmation that it is indeed a double top that we're not going to get back up there and test these highs again uh, the high from september 1st was 134.96 and the most recent high from the 4th of december was 135.50 on a short entry if it's a futures contract stop losses would have to go above these two highs, uh, perhaps not this 12 month contract high, but then that previous high, the session before, uh, which is 135.12 from the 3rd of December. Or if you look to a option position uh, or a future spread, we can cut down on some of that risk as well. Uh, downside target would probably be this congested area where there's a 200 day moving average at 127.66. So just waiting for. Uh, this point perhaps to to hold see the market trade back up to this trend line and then we'll look to take a short entry on a break of of these trend lines that's the march 2021 british pound okay moving along this is the march 2021 30 year treasury bonds i have a uh a, a short time frame one two three formation I like to see more distance between these one two and three points but they are in place. The number one point is the 12 month contract low that was made on the 11th of November at 170.20. Market bounced off there, traded up to this trend line that I have drawn off, creating a second point at 175.21 from November 20th. Then we had the recent sell off, which the market did not take out the number one point. So we have number three point set up. And that's at 171.04. In Sunday night, Monday morning trading activity, the market did indeed bounce higher, did not take out Friday session low. I don't want to wait all the way until a break of the number two point to get long, perhaps a break of this 20 day moving average at 173.11 and this high uh, from Friday, which is 173.15. That can be an opportunity to get long. Right now, the trend is a flat but turning up, and you can see the stochastic indicator. This is a momentum indicator showing that the uh, momentum is drying up near the oversold level. So I like to see that hooked up. Maybe these uh, moving averages hooked up. This is a 20-day and a 50-day. And then a break of this pivot point high that would set up a, a trade to the upside in the March 2021 30-year Treasury bonds. The 
third chart I want to take a look at today is the March 2021 Coco. This chart has the beginnings of a one, two, three top formation. Uh, the number one point is the 12 month contract high that was put in place on the 24th of November at 2821. Market has sold off recently. Uh, it had momentum to the downside. Just didn't see a great entry for downside trade. So what I like to see is uh, now that the market's found potentially some support with uh, Monday's session low coming in at uh, 2589, right on that 20 day moving average, looking for a bounce back into the 27 area, uh, perhaps taking out this bar session high to create a new number two point around 2750 or so, and then looking for that opportunity to sell. Uh, the trend almost is flat here, uh, despite despite the uh, the, the rally and, and the sell off that we've experienced here in the last uh, month. The MACD is showing that the market is potentially uh, getting oversold here, so definitely don't want to take a short entry here. Looking for a bounce to set up that shorter term one two three top formation, and then look to get uh, look to get short. I drawn off a. Uh, a range here the market may consolidate uh, into this this uh, area between 2500 and 2700 before there's a potential breakout uh, but we'll just be patient and wait for these uh, moving averages and these indicators to tell us it's ready to, to get short the March 2021 20, cocoa let's quick look at what the trade spotlight advisory service looks like it's an email service so it'll come directly in your inbox with a timestamp. You have a write-up on the uh, trade details, the precise entry and exit orders, whether it's a futures contract, an option, or a future spread. So you'll know risk-reward parameters. And then a chart that you can click to enlarge. If you're not following the Trade Spotlight, I encourage you to do so. You can go to the Daniels Trading webpage, click on Advisories, and under technical analysis, you'll find Trade Spotlight. You can read more about it, see recent posts, hit the orange button to set up a subscription. It's a free service for 90 days. Uh, after that, if you're a client of the firm, it's free to you. Uh, if not, there's a $99 quarterly uh, fee. If you have any questions on the charts I review today or just the markets in general or trading in general, contact me directly. Here is all my contact information. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this video and happy trading.